What types of answers can ChatGPT give? Many people don't know this, but ChatGPT can actually respond in all different kinds of formats, not just plain text. But let's start with plain text since that's what we're most familiar with. For example, if I type who is Sabrina Romanoff, okay, ChatGPT just gives a text response. You know, it's just a text, nothing fancy, no bullet points, no list or anything. But now let's ask what are effective time management? tips. Now ChatGPT is responding with a detailed list, one, two, three, four, five, and so on, and then bullet points underneath each of these numbers. And you might have noticed that I didn't even ask for a list explicitly, but ChatGPT decided that this would be the best way to organize its answer. You can be more explicit and ask for a list if you're specifically looking for that. Okay, let's say brainstorm 10 blog post ideas about the new Apple intelligence output a bullet point list. Okay, here we're being really specific that we want a bullet point list. And so that's the answer that ChatGPT gives. So depending on your question, ChatGPT may decide that a list is the best way to answer it, in which case it'll do it automatically without your prompting. But in cases where you already know you want a structured list, simply ask ChatGPT for it. You can say output a list, output a bullet point list, output a numbered list, output an outline. In addition to plain text and lists, ChatGPT can also output tables. So let's ask ChatGPT to output a table comparing social media platforms for marketing purposes. Without having to specify anything, it decided on this table format with these headers, platform, audience demographics, content format, best for key features, and estimated ad cost. And all we asked was to output a table, but ChatGPT made this intelligent determination. Tables are really helpful to visualize comparing different options, to visualize numerical data as well. Output a table of the the US states and the population for each. So this is an example with numbers. So it's using its 2023 data and this is a table showing for each state what is the population and it even ranked it from highest population to lowest population. Okay. Now, if you're working with data, common formats you probably work with JSON and CSV, and you can get both of them from ChatGPT. CSV, you'd usually ask for to be able to import it into Excel or Google Sheets. JSON, you would typically ask for if you are integrating it into some kind of application. You might be using it for API calls or data storage. And so let's take the CSV. So output your previous answer in a CSV. Here actually is the code that ChatGPT4 used to create the CSV. So I actually expanded it here. You can actually see the code. You can copy paste this code as well. And here is the final CSV. Just click on this to download it and it will download the CSV containing states and the population for each. And then you can go ahead and import that CSV into Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. Now let's say we want the JSON. So output your previous answer in JSON. The beautiful thing is all you have to do is ask. So here, now it's created the JSON file. All you have to do is click to download it and then go ahead and open it in something like Visual Studio Code, for example, to see the JSON format. Another format that ChatGPT can provide is code snippets. Let's ask ChatGPT to write a Python script to calculate the factorial of a number. And it actually outputted this Python script, which you can go ahead and copy into a development environment. And it even explains how the script works. And last but not least, ChatGPT also supports Markdown and HTML. So let's say create a 500 word blog post about video generation AI, and we're going to ask output it in Markdown. So here is the Markdown. This is header one. For those of you unfamiliar with it, this is header two, etc. Because it's in Markdown, you can go ahead and copy this directly into something like WordPress or whatever you're using for your blog or documentation, and it will render, for example, these headings properly. This is H3, this is an H2, this is an H1, the title of the piece. Now let's say I want to convert it to HTML. Okay, so you can see here, here are the tags H1, paragraph H2, paragraph, paragraph H2, H3, etc. And so this is really handy to output markdown in HTML. So just to recap all the different types of answers ChatGPT can give, we started with plain text, which is what you're probably used to. And then we saw ChatGPT output lists, including numbered lists, bullet point lists. And then we had ChatGPT output tables, which is super useful for comparing across different items. And then we asked ChatGPT to output a CSV as well as a JSON. We also asked ChatGPT to output code snippets, for example, Python scripts. And finally, we ended with ChatGPT outputting Markdown and HTML for 
more complex text editing needs, for example, for blog posts and documentation.